Hi class, good morning. How are you? Today, we will have an exciting topic because we will know the other cultures and their influences to the Filipinos. Are you ready? Let's start. Anyone familiar with the greetings called Namaste, Nihao, Konnichiwa, and Marhaba? What do you think this means? It only means hello. Let's take note at three important questions we have to answer at the end of this lesson. Did you know that the early Filipinos had contact with other cultures? Can you describe the influences of other cultures on the early Filipinos? And how can you express pride in the culture of our early ancestors? When the other cultures came here, they have different styles of saying hello. They close their eyes, they bow their heads, and the others do a simple wave. How do Filipinos wave hello? Can you show me? We take pride in the culture of our early ancestors who live in the Philippines. That is why it is also important for us to acknowledge the contributions to our culture of peoples and cultures from the other lands. For example, we have here a record of Chinese pottery in the Philippines. It shows that trading between China and the Philippines may have started in the earlier years. The system of trade between the Chinese and the Filipinos is called barter the chinese brought to our land different kinds of goods like silk colored glass beads iron needles and umbrellas and a variety of porcelain were like pots vases plates bowls and jars they bartered the filipino goods like beeswax cotton golds pearls, seashells, and rattan. This trade system helped greatly in enriching the culture of the early Filipinos. This picture is called salambao or fishnets. This method of fishing is still being used by fisher folk today. On the other hand, the natives who live near the mountains were already mining gold, silver, copper, bronze, and other metals for use in making utensils, weapons, and similar objects. Let's look into the influence of the Chinese. They began settling in the country. Soon, intermarriages took place between the early Filipinos and the Chinese traders. These marked the beginning of the fusion of customs and traditions between the two cultures. In intermarriages, there is a fusion of customs and traditions. That is why the Chinese influenced the Filipinos on economic activities, language, food, manner of dressing, values. Even their leisure time activities, the Filipinos was able to adapt songka and kite flying. From the Chinese, we learned about the use of porcelain, umbrellas, gongs, and silver, and other metals for commercial purposes. We were also introduced to metallurgy, or the study of the structure and properties of metals and their extraction from the ground. We also learned from the Chinese to manufacture gunpowder. One of the biggest influence is language. Many Chinese words are found in the Filipino language. These are still used up to this time. Some of the words that have become part of our language are Sangko, Kuya, Diche, Sanse, Diko, Pansit, Lumpia, Goto, Cha, Pinga, and Tinghoi. Filipinos love Chinese food. Its table fare was likewise greatly enriched by the addition of such Chinese food items like panset, shopao, shomai, mami, and hopia. 
The Chinese also introduced to Philippine soil fruit-bearing plants like guava, balimbing, and pomelo. They also introduced vegetables such as pechay, Chinese lettuce, and soybean. Which Chinese food is your favorite? Even Muslim Filipinos were influenced by the Chinese. The loose style of clothing, the sleeve jacket, and the loose trousers of Muslim women, as well as the use of slippers, were of Chinese influence. The use of white clothes while in mourning is a Chinese custom and is still observed by Muslim Filipinos. Lastly, the Chinese influenced the Filipinos its different values. They learned many values like love of family, frugality, patience, industry and humility the chinese also taught the filipinos the basics of recycling used things like empty and cans and bottles today we learned about some chinese cultures that influenced the early filipinos and on the next day we will learn other cultures also did you learn something today i hope you do if ever you have questions, feel free to message me or leave a comment on the comment section below. Thank you so much grade 4 and see you again.